Hi, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today I want to show you the Hercules DJ Control Air. It is a little MIDI controller that a person can hook up to uh, a PC or a Mac. We're going to be looking at a Macintosh today that I've gotten hooked up to. The unit is boxed with uh, Hercules' own software, which is DJ Juiced. It's a, a neat little software. They're, uh, it's a new software. They're working some of the bugs out of the system. If you get the chance to play with it, it's very, very cool. It comes with this. And just the software alone, of course, is well, uh, well worth the price of this. This is selling a lot of places for like $169. Uh, it's a great little uh, little MIDI controller, and I wanted to show, show it to you today. So, this is what it looks like in person. Um, plastic body, but it's a rigid plastic, so it, uh, it, it seems to be a nice solid unit. You've got your two jog wheels, your volume, your cross fader, all with a nice feel. Um, not feeling super chintzy or super loose or anything. They have a nice feel to that. This has a couple of features that are kind of unique to this particular board. With DJ Juiced, uh, it has a little motion sensor and you can do some controlling of it. Uh, if you get a chance, we have a video from Steve Sharp showing how this works with DJ Juice. I haven't done enough with G DJ Juice to do even close to what Steve Sharp did. So Steve did a great job. We'll have that video. I'll probably put the link down below here. You can take a look at that. For virtual DJs, which I, what I'll be looking at today a little bit, we have, uh, of course, our looping, our looping buttons and such, or the pads here. Neat thing about these pads is that they're touch sensitive. So if you push them when you're set to samples, if you push them just a little bit, it's at one volume. If you push them really hard, it's a different volume. So you can actually hit these like drums, and it's kind of a cool little effect. Set up for DJ Juice, of course, right out of the box for that. You have to do a little bit with uh, Virtual DJ to get it hooked up to the way you want it. But it's a neat thing, a neat board. Uh, we have loops, we have effects, and we have samples. And once you ch choose one of these three different options, of course, then this becomes that area. So if it's loops, then these become your buttons to control the loops and so on. Uh, the treble mid uh, bass, you've got your uh, your ability to control your your pitch there. Uh, sync buttons, and you've got your sliders and different things for, uh, for, for your adjustments. Let's do some uh, playing a little bit here. One of the things I really like about a MIDI controller that I haven't had when I've just been using the laptop is the ability to go to an exact point in a song just by turning a wheel. So if I wanted to get to right on that drum beat, I can find it, I'm right ahead of it. And this is also, this is something that a lot of the software can also do. But to try to do that with a uh, touchpad is very, very difficult. So with a MIDI controller, I can find that exact point and I can start right on that point, which is very, very cool. We've got our crossfader that will fade us between the two. Our volume control there, and we can turn our bass and everything. All the controls you'd expect. The looping feature. One of the things that's really kind of cool about this is I've got it set right now for a two beat loop. All I have to do is hit the button and it does it. You get out of it. One of the things I really, really like about this is the looping feature. You literally have it set of what you want, you can hit a button and it's doing a four beat loop right now. I didn't have to go in and out. It was for those of us who sometimes just miss. We're the guys who clap on one and three instead of two and four. It can actually do that for you. That's a very, very neat feature. If you want to go to an eight beat, you hit the button to move it over to the eight beats. Where am I at? Let's go to an eight beat. And now what we'll be doing and looping an eight beat. And we're back. And back again. Very, very cool feature very neat uh, thing, especially if you get to an end of a song. If you ever played I Knew the Bride, you get to the end of the song and you're looking at it and say, wow, I need another 20 seconds so that last gal can finish. You could actually loop an 8 beat at the end of the song and you'd be able to keep that song going just enough so you won't have that weird at the last moment where the gal gets up there and the song ends. Okay. And of course the whole sync capability. You can actually, with the software, you can hit the sync button when you're playing on one deck. You can hit the sync button and it will get the beats, actually the beat per minute, it will get that all lined up. And once you hit the sync button again, it'll actually in Virtual DJ line up so the beats are on top of each other. Well, it won't maybe match up one and two properly. It might have one on top of two or one on top of three, whatever. But with a little work on it and a little practice, you can actually get it so one, two, three, and four can all line up and you can have it um, all put together very, very well. And again, all that is controlled and control very easily with the air. We looked at the looping a little bit. I want to look at some of the effects. So we'll hit the effects button in the center. And we've got a few effects that are that are working on this. So 
you can you can program the effects with Virtual DJ and with DJ Juice. You can go in there and change everything so you can have the effects and things that you want on the buttons that you want. Let's go to Sample. Sample's kind of cool one. So there's some of them are yeah. Push, 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 push. This, this, this. Put your hands up in. So, kind of a cool little little feature. With those little, with that little touchpad area, you can change things from the loop to whatever else you want. It'd be looped just like that. And it's right on. That's really, that's really cool. This is the Hercules DJ Control Air. Neat little thing. $169. You can find it online at a lot of our dealers. We'll have a few in the uh, description down below, so you can go right to them because they're the guys who sponsor the Disc Jockey News. So make sure you buy stuff from them. They're the ones who uh, make sure we can keep coming to uh, each and every month. But again, Hercules DJ Control Air, take a look at it. I think you'll be very happy with it as a practice or if you're just getting into this. It's a neat little machine. I'm John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Have a great day.